Father, I thank you that you love her so much. And just release your spirit all over her body and Bless all our friends. And just thank you that there's angels all around you right now. The presence of angels and awareness in your heart and mind and spirit. I thank you, Father, for this blessing. Bless her with the peace and goodness and joy. You want to smile, don't you? I do. <laughs> Isn't that wild? <laughs> Sometimes people get really happy when we lay our hands on them. It's good. Like they can't stop wanting to laugh and smile. <laughs> just go with it, man. It's just your spirit. They were all spirit beings. Did you know that? I mean, like we all have spirit. We're all connected to God. Like, see, we, we go around telling people that we're already connected to God. We don't have to pray a prayer. That's the other thing. A lot of people are like, whoa, you gotta pray a prayer to get saved. <laughs> That's not it. Like, Jesus already had himself. You feel anything going on in your body or you feel presence? I'm, I'm pretty happy. You're pretty happy? I'm pretty happy. <laughs> it's good, man. <laughs> it works, dude. Yeah. It's resting. <laughs> it's resting. Presence, and, uh, presence not me. It's an angel, and it's right there. It's energy. I don't know if you can feel it. Can you feel an energy like right here? Maybe. A little bit? Maybe. Because there's a big angel that just showed up as I started like playing my hands on me. He's just wanting me to stand here and hang out with you guys. He's just like to sit by the corner. Oh, girl, you're so awesome. You guys are awesome. Do you guys have anything in your bodies, any pain? Like, did you hurt your foot or your ankle or anything like that? Anybody like playing sports or skating? Huh? No? No? Nobody? What? You feel great? Cool. Do you do music? Do you, yeah, I saw you playing guitar and writing and doing all kinds of stuff. There's so much writing in you, man. Like to not just like write music, I'm talking songs and writing poetry and like just putting that to music. I see like drums. I see, dude, you have like multiple, multiple talent in musical. Anything you can pick up, you could actually start to learn. <laughs> like anything you picked up, you could start to learn. It would be really easy for you because there's just like a prodigy understanding in music and, and understanding how to play and just like just playing music and you know, just go for it. That's your dream, that's your heart. Just like run with it. You know, don't let anybody tell you you can't do it or like that it's just a failing thing. Or just like, you know, I see you playing in bars later on in your life. I don't know if you already do, but like just opportunities and doors will open up as you just like follow your dream and like express your heart and your music. Yeah, so it's like, it's just a beautiful thing to continue to discover the journey of who you are. God just sees you and loves you and he's just pleased with you and he's proud of you. So just follow your dreams, bro. It's just, there's so much, I see so much music in your hands and energy. And you have to get in to play. So guys, we are. Jesus <laughs> 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 exactly. Those people, man. Like, this is the Jesus Christ that was the man who yeah. came to the world. He's, He's just love, you know, and encouragement, and like and encourages people. And we're we're like out here talking to people just <laughs> because we we see people as so valuable, you know, and like a lot of I mean, there's so much religion and stuff that's beat people down, you know, and told them like you're a sinner, you're going to hell or whatever. And, like, that's the total opposite of God's heart, you know. So, like, we're not trying to recruit you to our church or anything. I just want to, like, pray for people and see people, like, get happy, you know. She's probably feeling something, like, supernatural joy, dude. Like, that's why literally, like, I mean, a lot of us, we're, like, into drugs and whatever. And, like, but now literally, like, I literally get super high on God. 
Like I'm like jacked up, dude. Like I don't know if you ever heard of that, but like I don't I don't use any substance at all, dude. And like I'm not just trying to say this to you because you're young or something, but literally like. Well, let me get. I have a. I have a card, man. And uh, <laughs> if you guys feel like it, check out our website. Literally, we like. We just get wasted on God. <laughs> wasted. Just love, dude. Like, I don't know if anyone else wants one. We're, we're into like the mystics. We do parties and, and stuff, like, and we're not trying to tr- recruit you for anything, dude. Yeah. But we just like. Just enjoy yeah, life. You know what I mean? Like, just <laughs> have fun, dude. Because that's why we're here. <laughs> yeah. We believe so, we're here to party, yeah. and enjoy. And, Express yeah. like ecstasy and glory and happiness and holiness and like the church will tell you to get real holy, like, you yourself up and look right and yeah. do this right and quit doing all the things you're doing and then like the world will tell you, well, do this to get really really happy. You hear it, you know. You watch TV, they're like, well, if you have this, then you'll be really happy. The church does it and says, hey, if you do this, you'll be really holy, and it's both crap. That's just religious crap, both of it. And God, the God I serve, he's happy and holy. And so, like, even though you may not understand what holiness is, or you may not understand what bliss and happiness is, he's both. And he he will bring you understanding. Like I was telling her, there's that angel's right here still. (laughs) He came to hang out with you guys because he'll give you revelations and understanding. Like, God is in all men. Like, angels just like to look upon, like, us. Like, we think angels are like, oh, man, they're the big ethereal, oh, my God, angels and devils and all that. But they actually like hanging out with us because, like, <laughs> they like to see what we're going to manifest. They're not just like, oh, man, like, <laughs> we're, we want you to worship us or know us. No, they're like, man, look at these people. Look at these sons of God. Look at these daughters of God. They're amazing. They're going to discover things. They're going to bring life forth to people. And they're going to express life in a way that people have never seen. Like, you guys have so much life in you. Like, I'm like, oh my God, there's just so much life in all you guys and your eyes and ambitions and heart. And, like, I see infinity in people's eyes. Like, there's, like, on you, dude, like, there's, like, 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 multidimensional understanding in your eyes, dude. Like, understanding, like, the universe and the stars and how everything's put together and, like it's just like in your eyes because God made you that way yeah. man. and like I see infinity in your eyes infinity is like just the, the, the continual like understanding and unfolding of, of life and that's in your eyes because that's God like but people don't see that they like say oh well you're smoking you're doing this you're doing this crap man God doesn't see that he just sees you he sees you guys that's all amazing and precious and <laughs> What's going on, girl? You just seem like. Are you? Is there something going on with the relationship right now? No. There's no relational thing going on in your life that's kind of bringing your heart down. Because I feel like the spirits like highlight some kind of relational thing. There's some kind of breach in relationship with a friend or with a parent or something, man. Like it just kind of weighs on your heart. You're tired. Yeah. Well, God loves you. That's what's going on. He, he sees that and He cares about any relational breach in your life. Yeah. He does. And like, there's forgiveness and the reality of forgiveness. And I mean, it's nothing you have to work for. Or you have to do. You don't have to forgive this person because God already has. But He loves you, and He just wants you to know that relational breaches are important. And he highlights those things because He cares about you. He cares about your relationship to yourself.